What's up guys, I'm Natasha Takahashi, Chief Marketing Officer and Co-Founder at Schoolbots. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to approach a chatbot strategy and all the potential use cases that you can dive into with a bot. One of the most common questions I get is, what can I actually do with the bot that's gonna bring value and make more money for my business? And so in this video, you should get some ideas. So first I'm gonna walk you guys through a wheel that's gonna explain three main categories of use cases that we look at holistically as an agency when we're implementing a bot for for the first time. All right, the first one is gonna be marketing. And this is going to lead into sales. And that'll lead into, I'm gonna write ops for operations. So these are the three use cases that we look at anytime we're approaching a chatbot strategy. Every business needs marketing. Every business obviously needs to make sales and every business has operations. And these are things like repetitive tasks and customer support. So what I'm gonna do over here for you guys is actually map these out and explain what the main use cases are below this. And you can choose one from each category to start out with inside of your bot. So for marketing, we've got things like content distribution. I'll say content delivery. We've also got nurturing your audience. We've got remarketing. And now over here in sales, we've got things like lead gen and actually making sales happen. However that happens for your business. For operations, we've got repetitive tasks and we've got customer support. And the reason that I put this into a wheel diagram is because all of these are interconnected and they all lead to each other as well, right? The customer journey might start out with the marketing, go to sales, but then there's always a question that someone usually has before they buy as well as after, right? People need onboarding to a product or they need help with their account. And so it's really important to take a holistic look at what chatbots can do and implement one from each of these columns into your chatbot when you're first starting out. Because otherwise, if you don't have customer support, people are gonna get upset and confused with the experience. If you don't have content delivery or any sort of value for your users, then they're not gonna find a lot of value out of your bot and probably stop talking to it, right? And with lead gen, of course, you wanna get some information about your users. And that can be things like, you know, what segment of your audience do they fall into? What are they interested in? What are their preferences? Um, and so really getting some unique information from them because Facebook, fun fact, gives you quite a bit of information about your users already from the beginning. So that's their first name, their last name, their gender, their time zone, and a few other things that can be really useful to help you target them with messages that are sent at the right time when they're most likely to see them, as well as keeping in mind some of those other things that might be helpful. Say if this is maybe um, a product that's more geared towards women, then maybe you address women and men a little bit differently depending on what the situation is. So these are the three categories that you wanna take a look at when you first approach a chatbot strategy and at least implement one of these so that you can provide a great experience for your users.